Gone are the days of frozen or reheated cafeteria food. Kids across the valley, they are learning firsthand from experienced chefs here in our community. All new this morning, our Jamie Warren showing us how they're using their lessons to reimagine the school lunch menu. So Nick and Allison, it's a nonprofit called the Blue Watermelon Project, and they have chefs in about 30 schools across the valley, including here at Echo Canyon in Scottsdale. Anybody else prefer the second one? As the owner of F&B in Scottsdale, chef Charlene Badman never thought she'd be chopping, blending, and serving up freshly cooked meals for students inside of schools. But 12 years ago, so this is amaranth, which grows really well again in the summer. She got a call from Ann Rodarty. We had these beautiful gardens and we were planting all kinds of stuff and nobody was interested in eating them. That's right, a robust garden where kids can grow their own food, but they needed a real chef to spice things up and get them excited about eating healthy. So that's where Badman comes in. So you're trying to bring balance to it, to your dish. Known as the veggie whisper, she's no cafeteria lady. Very good answer. But she's helping kids reimagine their school lunch menu. Yes, I'm able to see how difficult that job is. I have a lot of leeway in my kitchen that somebody that is producing food for children in a school does not have. Come January, kids will compete using what they've learned to create their own meals that meet the national school lunch program requirements. That dollar, dollar fifty that they're allowed to spend um, staying within the sodium levels. You have to start thinking about this now if we're going to make a change. It's a lesson plan they hope students will take with them beyond the classroom. It just changes the way they think about food and they go home and they say, Mom, I ate that. So the winners of this competition will have the chance to win prizes, scholarships, and also the chance to possibly see their meal in the school cafeteria line. And you have the chance to taste their creations. This event will be open to the public. We do have ticket information under this story at abc15.com. Nick, I'll send things back to you. And of course, we're always trying to find ways to get kids to eat healthier, get excited about food, make it a lifestyle. This is the perfect way to do it, Jamie.